that the gate to the deep wood has been opened, we should continue our journey into the mystical forest of the Shi. The next fragment of Arthur's soul is somewhere there, hiding in that murky, verdant hell. I still haven't given up on finding the fairy knight and asking him to teach me about the Seelie and the Unseelie. Hey everybody, welcome back! Uh, <laughs> I'd previously done a uh, loadout here without Mordred, not realizing, of course, main mission, we're gonna need Mordred in there. So there he is, and uh, Sir Percival, well, he's training. So, fun times, and good for him. Uh, we've got three different enemy types here, which is not the norm. Kind of like that, a lot of variety. And uh, I'll do a quick walkthrough here, nothing too crazy. Uh, Mordred's got the super armor. We're trying this new Raging Rune of Balance. There's 12 to 18, lots of uh, potential damage. And uh, you gain three damage for two turns for each kill. Not typically getting a lot of kills on uh, on our defenders, but who knows, maybe it'll, be, maybe it'll be good. Other options included the Mark of the Holy Flame, but it's at 14 damage flat. And then everything else is kinda, you know, maybe we want that more reliable damage, I don't know. I feel like we have the higher end possibility, so we'll keep that. We're going with the uh, reflection trinkets. I think that's working out pretty well for us. Two potions here. And, uh, oh yeah, he gets extra damage for each relic equipment. Interesting. Well, we only have one, uh, so we're just going to leave it at that. Fine. Next up, we have Tristan, our poison monster. He is dishing out so much poison damage, it's insane. Uh, so that was pretty fun. We'll bring him along. Even though I believe he's under-leveled here. Uh, Black Knight is under-leveled as well. Jolting Rune of Balance. Big damage. Extra damage versus stunned units. Um, I don't think we have a stun. Oh yeah, we do! The Thunderbolt, that's right. So Thunderbolt into an attack here is pretty massive. He's got the Opportunity Dodging. He's got Mental Debuff Resist. Minus damage from range. Unbreakable Armor out when outnumbered. And extra armor when resting, five damage for two turns for each kill, and 10% damage for one turn for each hit received. And that stuff kind of stacks nicely with uh, rage and strength. And then lastly, we have Ector. So he's got the 21 to 27 rune staff, and we get extra damage of attacking from behind cover, extra damage on force bolt. We've got this one where he's gonna regain five HP at the start of each encounter. We no longer have the dodge to count on, so just something to Keep in mind. Uh, gains armor when drinking potions and gains extra HP in drinking potions. Still have the culling here and the summoning of the lost and then the infernal artifact of torment for extra burning damage and gaining HP when hitting a hexed unit. So good possibilities there to keep him tanked up now that the gate and should be fun. I hope maybe possibly. It'll definitely be fun. I don't know how clean it will be. Three people are under leveled, but I don't know. I don't feel like that's a huge differential. One level, I think, is not really that scary. In before we party with Greetings, wipe. Knights of the Round Table. Lower your arms, please. I am not your enemy. I've been expecting you. He's got like a like a pole arm, or what do you call this thing? I want to say like a javelin, but that's not really the case. We should talk before you simply vanish again. Indeed. I need your help, just as you need mine. Otherwise, you'll never leave this clearing. Neither will you kill your dead king again. Do you know about Arthur? Yes, I do. I know you are hunting the tattered soul of the king, and I intend to help you. Whatever he is now, it must be destroyed. Just tell me where he is and I'll do the rest. I will, in time. But now we must deal with a more urgent threat. You are a prisoner in this clearing. We must take you out of here. Why? What is this place? This clearing is a crossroads, as the she call it. They, we, use these unique places to travel to other worlds. Huh. You ended up here because your will is unusually strong. Go on. The deep wood is a magical forest and also a state of mind. Your mind is strong, but untrained. You created these pathways. They exist nowhere 
and everywhere. Sounds exactly like the usual she nonsense. You don't understand the she, and you never will. You got that right. There are far more hues in the world than your human eyes can perceive. Could you dumb it down for me then? You have been lost in the deep wood. If you want to escape these pathways, you must seal them all first. I can teach you how to travel in this forest. And why are you helping me? Whatever your king has become, it is defiling Avalon and tainting the deep wood. If you don't kill him, the she will fall. Mutual enemies. I see. Tell me what I need to do. Each pathway starts from a gate. There are five gates at this crossroads. Choose a path and start walking until you find the way out. I'll accompany you and tell you the rest along the way. Okay, we accept. Love that. So what is he? We are at the crossroads He's a mage. of pathways, all conjured up by your mind. The gates here lead to places familiar to you. So he's got like super magic armor, basically. 22 armor there, buffed by reinforced armor, and then it lasts for two attacks, basically, which is really nice. He's got lightning strike that causes shock, which I think reduces AP. He teleports and he heals two HP when casting that. Uh, force bolt with knockback and ice shield. Three ice plates start orbiting the hero for four turns. During the duration, each ice plate can fully negate one incoming hit. Dang. Okay. That's no joke. What are we looking at here? Select a gate. Well, uh... Should we start with one, like, behind us? Sure. What we are looking for is a portal. Similar to the one you came through. So we need to find and close five portals. This is cool, Matt. I, I'm still, like, really impressed with how oh, they continue the to change up the missions a bit. Noble knights. Stop wheedling. Where's your lord? We serve so the world. This is his camp. He is looking for treasure in some old catacombs nearby. <laughs> catacombs? Treasures? I already like the sound of them. He is a good lord. A, a true man. And a great warrior. Approach him with care. Can we rest at your fire? Of course you can. Oh. But please, don't take our food. So do wolves would punish us. Yeah, now you didn't mention it. I'll take what I want, thanks. Huh. Okay, I, we didn't actually, like, kill them or anything, so that's good. Something to feast our eyes on. And I don't even, I don't even need to rest here. <laughs> but they live, I guess that's... Probably a bonus for them. Okay, what? I just want to see how this is mapped out. One of the things I was reading in the Steam forums the other day is... <laughs> there's some very vocal people that really care that Mordred is left-handed. I guess a bunch of them are left-handed and not right-handed, and that aggravates some people. I feel like that's a very interesting hill to die on. Oh, hello. Jeez. Oh, stop right there, noble knights. I am Sir Derwalt. I am not looking for trouble. Tell me, what is this place? An ancient catacomb, full of the undead and treasure. Way too many undead, if you ask me. Especially in the inner chamber. <laughs> it's a nice chest. Is it yours? Yes, we are treasure hunters. We took what we could and we fought for it. This is our chest and you better not touch it. Sucks to be you guys, I guess. Okay, this guy, that is some armor. Whoa, but he's gonna get stunned. So that's good. We're gonna strip some of that armor away. Full vulnerability. Full stun. Um, can I come here and do that? No. Before your king. Uh, how do we play this? Definitely want to kill those Which two in the back. To an adjacent enemy. So this is melee. Got the force bolt. Force bolt's very expensive. And I don't have the range, I guess. I am here 
to serve. Dead. <laughs> Definitely dead. We'll come here. Make up your mind. And then we'll go up next to him. I probably should have done one closer <laughs> and just gone for a power attack, but that's power fine. And glory. Uh, he can bleed. Not that I really need him to. Why don't we start burning him? That'll work. I wonder actually if I would have death hexed there. I don't know. Maybe not because we already had done a decent chunk of damage. Chest is ours, boys. We'll take it. Now, some of these greens, uh, like Mordred's weapon, are actually decent. Once they hit that level 10 requirement, pretty uh, huge boost in how good they are. I think it would have been cool to be picking up more like level 10 requirements when you were under-leveled, so that you had something to... Uh, almost to look forward to, but it seems like they only started really trickling in once we hit that level. Oh, oh, hello. Whoa. Uh, this group's gonna be a bit more interesting. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so these guys, bleeding and poison immune, they're lost. All of them, I think. Banshee is lost, mage, lost knight. No reanimation. And the crossbowmen are pretty far. Oh, we've seen a map like this before. So these guys, all the melee ones, they have to come running into uh, this pit. They can't jump down from the sides. Which makes for an interesting little spot here, if you ask me. Steel. For four turns, he'll have three things of protection, but I don't think we need that. Even this guy feels like a bit of a waste, but I don't know what else I'm going to do. I think we want to bring these no guys down. Let's do this. But he's not doing anything. I could Earthshaker, but I might be able to hit two next time. So I might just chill there. And then on this side... I can't burn two units, so I'm going to hold that. We can't bleed either. Alright, well. Let's do this. We'll slow him a bit. He won't reach us. So many offerings. And then I'll see if I can launch another one. Not amazing, but I think it's fine. Let's reserve that there. Reserve here. Which one should I take? Let's go. The challenge, really, for these guys is um, the crossbowmen that might start taking Don't a bunch of shots, glory. you know? Ooh, that's not bad. That's a lot of damage off that Banshee. Fight me. Gets the slow as well. Ready to fight. Um, he can jump up, which is pretty nice. I might actually go for that. The only problem is... Well, there's a couple of problems. Hmm. I think he's a he would be immune, right? Maybe we'll go here though. 
Poison immune. Let's actually hold off. What? I need to I need to actually consider what I'm doing here a little bit more. What? Okay, so Are you're done. You ready? Uh these guys can all burn. He might call here. Yeah, nice. nice. Your Highness. Um, I think I will take this. And then we can hide again. The Lord is my witness. Now, how do we play this? Can any of these guys bleed? I don't think so. Kneel before your king. Let's do this. And then we'll overwatch here. Hold that. So many this is actually, there's quite a bit going on here. I might ice shield now. And let's keep working on this guy. Make up your mind. They're all bleed immune. Can't really do anything with those archers at the moment. So... I'll move Ector back into cover. Maybe put him even on this side. The Fairy Knight has protection. Tristan is hidden. What are we waiting for? Okay. Oh, wait. Is he not? Wait, he might not be hidden because of that knockback. Oh, he's going to take some backstab. That's not great. He is going to take some backstabs. Okay, well he's take one. This is getting into cluster territory. Ouch. Okay. Your Highness. So yeah, he's dead. None can stand in my way. We have way less HP. Or sorry, way less AP. Um Ready. Hector can kill here. This should cull. And then maybe we push back here. As close to dying. Oh, beautiful. Which one should I take? Power and glory. Kneel before your king. Um, how do we play this? Strip some armor. I don't love the the backstabs, but next turn, Kristen can kill a couple. I should just attack again so that I can get out of here. Yeah, this is better. Power and glory. So Ector's chilling, sort of. Which one should I take? What are we waiting for? I think we'll bring the Black Knight over here. Put them down. Am I worried about this, actually? Maybe I face this way. Or maybe I... Yeah, I think we just face this way. And reserve. Power and glory. Make up your mind. Okay, that's good for me. Can't do anything about that. The double screams, that's a bit rough. Nada. Nice to have that little shields thing on our side. Okay. I am ready. Let's go.
That's so nice. Before your king. Now, do I need to spend some time killing these? I might have to. Okay. For my Camelot. Taste my Let's do that. Which one should I take? If I teleport, how many do I have? Only have five. Jeez. Let's go here. Maybe try and draw some shots. Get a little HP. That's gonna be about it. You're gonna hold. What are we waiting for? No teleport here, but let's slow. move you over. I think this is all fine. Man, just that's hard. That's hard to avoid. They they cover so much area. All right. Which one should I take? We'll just get used to doing this with fewer AP. Okay, so three turns there. Your Highness. I'll have uh, Tristan clean these up because I can't get him anywhere else. And then, can I hit both? I can't even hit one. What? Let's hit that. Should have put that on first, but I'm bad. Okay. They did a whole lot of nothing. Fire and steel. Shall bleed. Hector should be able to cull. Actually, don't even need that many. Need one. We might get both. All right, sick. That was actually pretty clean for how messy it could have been. That is one of the gates we have been looking for. Approach the portal and seal it with the power of your will. Okay, you got it. Grab our toys. You know we haven't gotten for a long time? A relic. I know there was that event that we sent someone to and I guess we made the wrong choice. But uh, we could have gotten a relic there. Check the other sides of the room. But the relics, that's one thing I really do enjoy, is they feel really powerful. When you get one, you're like, hell yeah. Your will is stronger than I thought. Soon you will be able to travel in the deep wood on your own. And do so you must, if you want to kill King Arthur. The lady told me that you'd explain everything. Arthur's torn soul fled to the deep wood and inhabited the most powerful guardian of the forest. The one you call the Green Knight. Arthur's taint is putting the she in danger. I hate it when the taints do that. Why don't they kill it? Some of the she want to destroy the Green Knight. But most of them think it would be an awful blasphemy. They would even protect it from you. I don't care. Let's go there. Be patient. You need to learn how to control your mind, or you will get lost in the deep wood again. I will tell you what to do, but first we have to seal another fragment. Okay, I'm on it. Uh, so will, do, will it be marked for us? Oh yeah, I guess. Okay, cool. Let's head to the closest one. You are not dreaming. These places are not illusions. They are fragments of reality. And if your will is strong enough, the pathways I see crude Pictish paint marks on the bones. Yes, I see that. Most she oh, hate the Picts geez. and consider them a pest upon Avalon. 
Please be good. Weakness. We're gonna leave that. This should be impossible. Oh, it's a. It's a murder tornado. Something is emerging from the darkness. Oh boy. This is gonna be nuts. gonna be like a time thing <laughs> I don't know I don't know I serve the Lord no calling which one should I take <laughs> I can take them all okay so he's mostly stunned Um, we have... This is actually not bad. Because we'll kill here. That's my free one. I can move here for another. I think I will. Did these guys... These guys could even be poisoned, so... He's toast. He's mostly stunned. No mercy for the wicked. You're not gonna be moving. My forefathers. I should keep teleporting just so that I keep my uh, HP up. We get that plus two every time. I'll throw this on now. Tower and glory. The only tricky part with that is, I guess, sort of timing it because you want it to be available when you think you might actually, Jesus, get attacked. I've been exiled from Avalon wow. For <laughs> that is sick. Just 300 health and 300 armor. Ooh, okay, didn't see that coming. Knockdown immune, hits incredibly hard, cleaves hard. Restore. He's got potions, restores HP and armor. Uh, he can cause weakness and he can shield bash. Wow, I wish these were off cooldown. But they're not. His resistances are pretty good. 80 and 50. Fire and steel. Uh, can he bleed? Yes, he can. Okay. Let's put that on. We'll also get some more damage over time going. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. He's got way too ready. much armor. So I need to for sure be in behind. Do an attack and then probably hide. Or come over here. No, I think I'm going to get some damage on him. Maybe I can poison. Yeah, no, we're not even we're not even getting close to go through that yet. Okay, well this will be interesting. Hector's out. These guys Kneel have to chill. Your king. We're gonna have to kite this Tower guy around. Glory. I serve the Lord. We'll just spread them out a bit. Make actually, I'm gonna mine. I actually I'm gonna bring him in because I want him to go through here if he's going to. It's too bad all of our stuff's on cooldown. Face this way, reserve. Oh, that is not great. Oh, wait. Whoa, okay. Oh, it's going after both of us. <laughs> That's actually awesome. That is great news. Okay. Well, it's poison now. Maybe we did get it on there before? Oh, the counterattack, I think, applied it. I'm actually gonna jump far away here. OK. 
Okay, okay. More teleporting. get a stigma on to remove some armor. Next turn we can throw down the thunderbolt which will reduce it further. And sort of there. And then the death hex is going to be really powerful. We might use that next turn. He's going to clobber her. Surprisingly... Oh, okay. That was not how I thought that was going to go. But, I think it's fine. So let's Death Hex here. Down to 112. Make up your mind. What is your command? My command is kill this thing. 91. Blessings. I can take for more. Stunned. Now you get more damage against stunned. There we go. So I can't really get both. He's take is he taking 22? He's taking no, he's not taking 22. But I I have I have to kill him. And then we get the movement and we can finish her now. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. I could use a little rest. What should I do here? Um, probably just heal. Because he gets it back. Mordor gets it back. Yeah, this is fine. And by it, I mean armor. A good rest feels like being blessed by the gods. <laughs> Can we go now? You're a Seely, but sometimes you act like a human. I am trying to live the life of a human knight. This is how I seek a better understanding of mankind. More Seely should follow me. But they refused. Did they send you into exile? They did. I'm trying to find the key to our survival, but they treat me like a heretic. One day they will understand, but we need to leave now. Okay, let's go. It's neat that each of these sections have like a... I don't know if trial is the right word, but I guess it sort of is. Seeing if anything pops, but nope. Okay. Let's do it. That's only two? We gotta do five of these? Good. You are learning fast. If you want to kill the Green Knight, you have to travel into the heart of the Deep Wood. It is the most sacred place for the She. Where is it? The heart is hidden by powerful She charms. But I can tell you how to reveal it. What do you mean by a powerful charm? A she charm is a law that was forced upon the world by magic. It is much stronger than any mortal law. Every law has its weak spot. Not so fast. Even the she lords and ladies can't reach the heart of the forest. But hmm. you will get there. I promise. Keep learning. Seal the next fragment. He's probably screwing us over here big time. Okay, that's the one we just went in? Yeah. 
We must find all five gates to the fragmentary realms your mind created here. Then we must close them down. Hey, you. Ew, humans. Stay away while you can. You should stand aside while you can. No. This domain is under the protection of the Council of the Wolves. You are not invited. Do you know who we are? You, we're the Knights of the Round Table. Whatever. You are not welcome here. Leave now. <laughs> if you let us in for a few minutes, I promise we'll leave soon. Enough. We don't like strangers. One more word and you die. You don't have to die today. Well, fine. <laughs> My man will escort you to the council. <gasps> oh, they wow. Consider your plea. Follow him into the inner chamber. Show us the way. Interesting. Now, I wonder if we attack, do we have to fight a larger group, maybe? Straightforward. Very much unlike the complex symbolism of my Seely ancestors. Huh. Let's see if we can wordsmith our way through it. Jesus! Look at those knights. Willingly walking into a trap. Oh, okay. Sharp blades and blunt minds. Now kill them all. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, uh, at a glance, this is not good. <laughs> And we have people coming in from behind. Um, okay. Harold the Stoneheart. Razgor the Brute. Morkant the Grey. Protection from ranged. I gotta burn that group, I think. For my forefathers. Um. None can stand in my way. It's mental debuff for the stun, right? I think so. And then he's got... Hold on. Firebolt that knocks back and fires Storm after one turn delay. So we can usually get out of that. Um, we'll try and stun this guy in front, I think. Okay, so that's good. I think we'll hit both of these. Um, yeah, let's drop this. And then we'll hide. Fire and steel. Hector's going to drop fire here. So they burn. Slow this guy. Uh, hold your points, Ready I think. Fight. For my Camelot. And here... I don't think we're gonna get reached, but let's throw it on, and then I can teleport out when things get dicey. Gotta make sure we're paying attention to the people behind us as well. just hold everything. Okay. There's the firestorm on everyone. That actually kind of helps. Mind you, we have the opportunity attack dodging. And now some of them are in the, in the square, which kind of works. Okay. Make up your mind. Yeah, so you need to get out, definitely. Dodge that. I can take them all. He's bleeding for five. Uh, Ector, we're gonna move here. We're gonna take him out. And who else can you hit? Crossbowman, I don't think five on 12 is enough to cull, so we'll hit 
Maybe twice. Okay. I'll bring you back. Which one should I take? Our teleport range is pretty good. Let's do this. Then he dies. We're going to jump out here. Uh, Mordred might try a... Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to go uh, shield charge here. Uh, that still keeps me locked in, so I am going to have to take a, an opportunity hit. At least one. Oh, damn. Actually, I'm going to have to take two. <laughs> Wait, maybe not. Ready. Hold on. Let's do this. I'm going to kill him so I can get out of there. And then we'll take this. He's actually going to live, unfortunately. None can stand in my way. Mordred takes one hit. Totally fine. Oh, God. Okay. Start moving you a bit closer. Black Knight, we pull back just a tad. I am ready. I think this is okay. That's decent. Moved him into cover. This is actually going great. Don't you dare. Okay, now remember, we do not have the first dodge here anymore. Ready. I could cleave that or go all in on one. I can take for more. Might stun this guard. Yeah. I think we'll stun here. Then let's put vulnerability on this guy. Tristan comes in. Actually. Uh, let's go from here because I can kill him. <laughs> And we'll take the long way around. And he's gonna die. Love that. I wish I got my targeting on Force Bolt. Not quite enough. We're gonna cleave. No mercy for the wicked. Mm. Maybe that's not the play there. Let's get this guy. I think that's that's fine. These guys are still pretty far, but this guy is strong. I am ready. This guy's gonna die. For my face count. this way, face this way. Oh. Tower and glory. Okay. <laughs> He's getting surrounded. He's got that unbreakable armor, but what? This is not good enough. Before your king. Ready. I don't know if I can cull here. Can I jump Time over there yet? The Hell yeah, ravens. I can. Bye. Tower and glory. I am ready. 
bring Tristan around. That'll be about it. What are we waiting for? Got the calling. This guy's slowed, so we'll face this way. Go into full what cover there. For my Camelot. Not a whole lot I'm gonna be able to do. Let's get up in this guy's face. Which one should I take? And then he still got his shields up. I don't know exactly how many turns he has left, but we'll find out soon. Oh, he dodged one. Another firestorm? Okay. Let's hit this guy with the spell. You can stay here. And then the Black Knight can charge in, take out one of these. Guys, we're in the clear. We are in the clear. Surprise. This guy dies. Oh, okay, that thing went away. I was like, yeah, what the hell? Um, I guess we'll put that on. Fire and steel. Let's do this. We can do the lightning strike. Nice! For my Camelot. And somehow this guy is still alive. For my forefathers. Get him. Okay, that's three. How are we doing for armor? Well, it's been better. Oh my god, there it is. I think the chests, actually, like those dark brown ones, I think are always relics. That's one thing we can kind of at a glance, figure out what's happening. Um, all right, so if I go for healing, Black Knight's gonna gain three armor. We're gonna heal up Tristan fully, almost. If I go here though, everyone's armor gets replenished. I'll, you know what, I'll do the armor, and then uh, Tristan can use a potion. So, as I told you, the Seelie Court sent me into exile. But they are still not my enemies. Well, why are you telling me this? I want to know the ways of the mortals. I want to help them. I will assist you, but I have scruples about killing my own. Right. Okay. So, I'm afraid you're going to have to do that. Maybe. Maybe not. All I ask is that you try to avoid killing the True Blood Sealy while I am here. Avoid killing the True Blood Sealy. All right. Why do I feel like that's gonna backfire big time? You closed three fragments without any rifts or alterations in the world arising. Impressive. Now, it's time to talk about the charm that protects the heart of the forest. I'm listening. A she charm is a law written with the ancient runes of magic. This one was codified by both courts of the she together by mutual agreement. And how does this serve me? Each court fears and suspects the other. They created the charm to protect the heart from both Seelie and unseedy influence. 
That is what we can take advantage of. How so? They never thought that anyone else but a she would be able to travel in the deep wood. We can use this oversight. Close the next fragment and I'll explain. Two more left. All right. It's really, he's really, really dragging this out here. Um, now, what's interesting is campfire, campfire, which kind of makes me believe that those are the spots we should go. Um, but there is also this big other opening with no campfire down here. Is that this one? Yeah, so if we go left. Oh, what's this? He is dead. But look, <laughs> he has a scroll in his hand. The Legend of the Speechless Knights. We haven't seen these very often. I always knew about the Speechless Knights. Let the deeds do the talk, and instead of the mouth, they said, before they cut out their own tongue. That's a lie. The Knights were mutilated, so they stay forever silent about the treasure of their secret order. Their hidden con uh, convent stands in the Valley of Silence. I'm certain that they all became lost ones during the storm. But the treasure still must be somewhere there. Frater Ignatius. Okay. Treasure, you say? Oh, yeah. I admire the human race. You are the future. The she are ancient and proud. But we are destined to watch our kind. This is the land of the dead, no doubt. Your constant battles against restless corpses left a mark upon your mind. So you opened a gate. Yeah, we're definitely fighting it. Oh my god, Tristan's just getting walloped. Should have done that before. I make that mistake a lot. Awaiting your command. Yeah, let's just do that. Take a potion as well. All right. Which one should I take? Now. Uh, he probably kills that Revenant. We can hit the Lost Knight here. And then Ector. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to cull this or not. Nope. Slow him. What? That's not quite enough. I'm going to... Actually, hold on. Let's do this. We'll go vulnerable here. Stun here. Then dodge this, come in behind. See if that's enough. Yeah, nice. Very good. Which one should I take? So many offerings. I'm gonna teleport here and set up our ice shield. Just to maybe draw attention in a safe way. Then Tristan. We're gonna have jump. I'll bring him here and maybe we can finish off these two. Oh my god, what a nasty scream that was. No mercy for the wicked. That was ridiculous. Okay, so that'll do. What? Not enough Trying AP to, to be as useful as I would like. What is your command? Okay. That shock does... Okay, so it, yeah, it increases their AP cost, right? Yeah. 50% less of the unit has armor. So he's down to three. I can take for more. This guy could be knocked. Then we'll overwatch there. Time to feed the raven. Chill here. 
still here. And look to get in closer. Okay. That's a lot of dudes. We'll try and kill here. Sinners shall bleed. All right, now we have eight. So if I teleport, I only get one backstab. I do it from here. guys burn yes none can stand in my way got some movement here actually look at this this is sick we come up here we have enough for the earth shaker fight me time to feed the ravens and then i might even be able Backstab. See ya. I'm parched. Okay. Who's gonna pour me a drink? So we'll take that. That blue rune for staffs could be great. We have to check the other side. Yeah. No campfire though, so may not find a portal. Huh. Priory of the Speechless Knights. Okay. Oh, hello. We got the portal. The ancient idols are barring the entrance to that fragment. We won't be able to pass through until we destroy them. Yes, we're familiar. I, sm oh, I was just going to say, I smell an ambush. All right, we're in. I don't know if that triggers both sides. No, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Crossbowman. This guy's gonna take a while to get to us, crossbowman. Let's do this. I think, uh, Ector... Oh yeah, he can hit that. Fire and steel. Let's throw this on. Your Highness. I might try and move up just a little bit here. Camelot. Put the Black Knight into cover here. I am ready. Okay. And then we'll hit this guy with a little slow. So many offerings. Fairy Knight can chill. <clears throat> oh, who caught who threw that? Is that this dude? Oh, it is. Wow. What are we waiting for? That'll do. Awaiting your command. Uh, I'm going to clean these up. 
at least in the early parts here. It's a little bit messy. I think we'll just hold that. Wouldn't mind trying to hit this guy, to be fair. Sick. No mercy for the wicked. Uh, they're bleeding immune. For my forefathers. Yeah, get out of there. I can take them all. We're gonna hold here. Make Teleport away. What are we and Ector. None of this matters really. I think I'm probably underutilizing his death hex. But it's it is hard to find like the right opportunity for it. Throw these on here, strip all this armor. Your Highness. We're gonna get rid of this thing because I'm not messing with it. The Lord is my witness. Um maybe next turn we death hex him. Can he bleed? Stand in my way. Fire and steel. Knock him into that poison. Time to feed the ravens. Ready. Well, two there, one here. Oh, I didn't know if we could call that or not. That's fine. I am ready. Oh, my dude, you're facing the wrong way. It's fine. Oh, it's not fine. So many offerings. Okay, we're gonna just teleport behind you. I love his attack animation. That's really cool. No mercy for the wicked. Okay, two there, one here. I don't suppose you have a. The Lord is my witness. Hmm. Maybe. Death X is four. I don't think so. One out. I can take them all. So let's come here. Let's clean this up so it doesn't come back. Then we'll take this. And then I need to run. Actually, hold on. I can jump even further. All right, I think that's not half bad. I serve the Lord. Time to feed the ravens. <laughs> I sh in these situations, I definitely should just tank the we for? the um, opportunity attack with Mordred when he's got that much armor. Won't even do anything. We'll slow here. Very interested in Tristan. Blessings. Let's see if I can death hex. There we go. That's like 20. Oh, Not bad. Your command. 
Hooey! Okay. So there are going to be people on the other half, of course. I wonder if that there was even a point coming over there. Maybe there's a hidden chest or something that we're not able what to is see. This thing? Ooh. Getting closer to the banshees. Oh my god, this is a lot. Oh, maybe... Okay, it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Power and glory. I don't know if we get a calling here. Not quite. So many offerings. Okay. This shade summons dead warriors, heals, weakness, bless, and shoot. None can stand in my way. I think Tristan can actually just do this. Oh, maybe not. It takes all three, but it's done. Stay in cover here. Make up your mind. Black Knight, we're gonna hold. Time to feed the ravens. Let's do this. And one of these. None can stand in my way. Who can we slow? Let's slow this guy. I am ready. I don't I don't know if this thing will summon on this turn or not. Yo, that's pretty grouped up. Blessings. Let's go here. We'll death hex this guy. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. What? Fire and steel. Oh, you don't have AP to do any of this. Here, let's bring you here. And you can kill. Oh, I don't command? have my shield up. Awaiting your command. Doi. That's not great. I'm gonna have to take that. Okay, guys, time to be brave. Let's see if I can get Mordred in here. I have to. I don't know if he's gonna catch fire there or not. What are we waiting for? I could summon in our lost unit. Um, but I feel like these guys are strong enough right now. Okay. What? So we're gonna cleave. Bless then I wonder if we combo that with Ector, so we can kill that guy for sure. Is there a place I can stand to hit all three of these? Yes. Oh, what? I swear that was showing. Okay, guess I gotta move back. Do this and both of these. What is your command? This could kill 19 to 29. Beautiful. Let's put this on now. For my Camelot. Strip all the armor. The full stun. Okay, can we kill all these guys is the question. 
don't know. I am ready. So many offerings. Take some cover here. You've got a bunch of protection. You're cowering in the corner. It's all good. Okay. What? So many offerings. We're gonna have to deal with some of these. For my Camelot. Awaiting your command. Go get him. Okay, Tristan, be brave. So that's a cull for sure. We'll hit her. A little slow there, not that it's super impactful. Let's teleport for healing. You hold. And actually. That'll do. Come back here. Where is she facing? I don't even know what's forward. Probably the biggest insult you can give them. Where's your face? Now we must walk into the gate and close this pathway. Oh, is that what we do? Oh. It's not like it's my 4,000th. Gate in the past 20 minutes. You have one more fragment to seal, then you are free. If this labyrinth couldn't keep you imprisoned, you will never get lost in the deep wood again. Can hardly wait to hear your next lesson. Remember the charm I told you about. It was written with the following runes. Okay. The guest, the sunbeam, and the moonshine. Okay, what's the rune of the guest? The guest means that you are not one of us. Combined with the other two runes, it means you are neither part of the Sealy nor the Unseely court, which and, is true. And what's the rune of the sunbeam? It means you are accepted by the Sealy. Combined with the rune of the guest, the meaning is altered to... You are someone who is not one of us, but accepted. How can I be accepted, though? You can find enlightenment in the Sealy Court with the beam of the primary crystal. This is an ancient ritual which every true blood Sealy must undergo once in life. What does the rune of the moonshine mean? If you find the moonshine filtering through the cracks in the cave of the Unseely Court, bathe huh. in its light. You will be accepted by the Unseely. Bathe in the moonlight. Okay. Is there anyone who can enter the heart of the forest freely? The warlocks. They are the guardians of the heart. We need one of those. They belong neither to the Seely nor the Unseely, but they are accepted by both. Do you want to explain this in like basic terms? You need to visit the sacred sites of the Seely and the Unseely courts. Jeez. Complete a ritual in both places. Then travel into the very heart of the deep wood. That's it. Simple. <laughs> yeah, super simple. The simplest. Okay. Uh, let's go hit this campfire. And what do we do now? Let's go armor. We still have some potions. I think... Ah, nothing like a good rest. Oh, there's a campfire over there I could go hit, too. It's far away, but... 
we've invested time already, so I'm gonna make sure we go and fill up if we can. Is this the one? Wait a second. Oh, this might be up in that section. Oh, you know what? I think it is. I remember being over here and it was, uh, beyond the wall, right? Or not? Yeah, okay. So I'm not, I'm not totally crazy. Okay, out of the labyrinth we go. Let's pop one of these. Pop yours too. Is this the gate? Oh, I see. Yeah, we're in the main area again. Okay. Let's roll. Let's finish this. We'll go... Oh, okay. Hold on. I don't see any enemies. That's blocked. What is that? What do you see? Oh, nice. Hmm. This is my lucky day. Another dead body up there. Is this just a freebie? No, never mind. Not a freebie camp. Nope. I don't even need to be there now, really. Just you. Onyx He Beast. Okay. So, three incoming hits, a throw with knockback. Ice Aura. If the unit's adjacent with the hero, they suffer 50% weapon damage, become chilled. And he can summon three wisps. That's kind of annoying. For my forefathers. Okay. Ready. The Lord is my witness. I'm gonna get rid of those uh blocks. Then Mordred. Oh, that used two. I'm so dumb. All right. Well, whatever. I am here to serve. Come into my traps. Oh, frick! That removed the gas one. Oh my god. To fight. I even was thinking in my head three traps, but I didn't for some reason think the gas one counted. Make up your mind. Can I explain why? Nope. No, I can't. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go in a bit more aggressively. Uh, let's go here, and then we'll ice shield. Got the ice aura up. In every new turn, if the unit's adjacent with the hero, they suffer 50% weapon damage. Fair play. Okay, we resisted most of that. What? Let's see if this could land. It can. Can he burn? Let's get that going. Let's 
see if I can slow here. Go somewhere like here. Make up your mind. Okay, so what are these wisps doing? Huh. Ready to fight. No mercy for the wicked. Hey, my dude. Ah. He's chilled. Just want to make sure I'm fully behind him. Very nice. I guess the wisp just chills. Oh, hello. What's the use of this? Regain armor. God, of course. Okay, so Hector could use some. We don't even need to hit this now, but depending on what we run into, maybe we come back. Doesn't make sense to use it right now. Where's that engagement with the different borders? Uh, here we go. Huh. An archer, 65 health. We'll come in from this side. That's this dirty. See the witch found the gate your mind created. We must kill her and her followers. There is no other choice. Oh, you got it. Okay. So, ready. Black Knight here. For my Camelot. This is all good. No mercy for the wicked. We probably just have to throw everything into For my forefathers. One of them. Ready. Or I could start burning. Kneel before your king. We'll do this to Autumn Breed here and stun. I can't Death Hex and Force Bolt, so that'll have Which to do. I take? I'd rather kill one, so do that. I am here to serve. And you take this. She's dead. Uh, does she have anything weird? Hide, fog immune, detection, thundershot. Yeah, good. Thundershot's enough. Let's go here for another one. We are dangling at Tad, but we're going to deal with two of those. You can just hold there, I think. Kneel before your king. And we'll throw on a slow for good measure. I can take for more. Actually, look at this. Okay, we're gonna do this. To negate some attacks, and then I'm gonna teleport in here, let's say. And hopefully be a nice little distractiones. <laughs> Well, like a man. the idea was good, you know? Fire and steel. The idea was nice. Okay, that lets me get in here. to feed the ravens. 
Oh, I wonder. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit both here. Yeah, not even close. Okay, so if that's the case, let's just do a big power whack here. That is the uh, technical term, not to go too above your head. <laughs> if I can reach that. Oh, it's close. I might fall there. Ah, that that does it. That works. I that works. Here to serve your highness. Grab some cover here. Not that I think it's gonna really matter. Oh, nice. Ready to fight. Alright, let's go. Is there anything around here? Like, I don't know if that's going to actually be the end or if we're going to go into some other stuff that he was talking about or if that'll be later on. So I'm going to hit this stuff here. We'll go HP. I think I've earned a feast. And then, uh, funny enough, we'll give this to Ector. I wish there was a better angled view like this, because this really negates, you know, a lot. Just nice for a change sometimes, but you pretty much have to be up here to see what's happening. What is that? Okay, we do have some more spaces back First here. Pick should be mine. They are coming. Protect me. Oh god. Please. Look at those ice swords. Okay, we've seen these guys before, the fog bringers. So they have that frozen explosion. Sounds like a Dairy Queen ice cream treat. You got weepers. So many offerings. Let's throw this on and then we'll ice shield. Okay, so this goes down. We throw a trap on either side. That's it. I think we definitely save here. a little unfortunate. You know what? Let's uh let's put the fire in these two. Get the damage over time. He's stunned, so he's not going to do a whole lot. Let's slow the winter breed. I wish it would show us what was happening on our end here. Oh yeah, damn, see? <laughs> Hello. For my a little bit of a situation. Awaiting your command. Okay, that's one. We do have to kind of dance around the frozen explosion part. if this will hit both. That would be sick. Almost. There. Oh, did I have it? No. If I was here, I could do it. But then I won't have enough. Okay, so I better hit this guy. It's gonna slow him. Come back a tad. Can these guys be knocked down? Um, yes. I'm gonna run. The one trap out there. 
Might try to just entice them in my direction here. Oh, actually, uh, frick. I didn't want to do that. I did not want to hide. That was a totally accidental thing. Whoops. None can stand in my way. Okay, Ector's getting wrecked. What are we waiting for? How big is their explosion? Adjacent. Ready. Okay. Um, damn. What do we do here? Oh, are these guys? Oh God, they're in fog form. That's Make up horrible news. None can stand in my way. That's too bad, because Which there's literally to? nothing I can do. We'll take that. Now, these guys have a double throw, which may actually negate... Uh, ...these shields faster. So I should be a bit more cautious. I'm gonna come back here. I'm losing the surprise, but. Just be strong. Frick. None can stand in my way. I think I might just need to, to get Ector back. Ravens. Mordred kinda should tank this. We dodge the opportunity to hide. So let's just assume Mordred's frozen forever, which he is. Yep. Uh What? If we hit there, he's going to be frozen as well. Take these guys down. Fire and steel. A feast for the swine. And then I guess it doesn't matter if he's the last one. Okay. Whew. Little worried about Ector. I couldn't see if how he was getting attacked. Like I didn't even know until we phased back in and he had no health. That's a potion, just in case, here. This stuff seems pretty optional. There was some XP to be gained there, but... 50 XP at this point certainly seems useless. So... Had we known... Alright, let's go to the section where we see the fire now, and we'll probably just heal, uh, HP, I guess. A blessed? Oh my god. I knew it! Frick. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. But I'm here anyway. Okay, so we're gonna strip some armor, and then we'll Thunderbolt these Winter Breeds. They're pretty dangerous. Throw that down. One here. One here. Power and glory. We'll 
We'll throw everything at that guy with the vulnerability. So many offerings. Okay. And you don't really need to do anything with that stuff yet. Nobody's close enough to be slowed. Let's move up a tad. Slow this guy. Oh, Mordred's armor. It's actually pretty low, too. Okay. Oh, he did the pull. Nasty. Those bounces are gross. Okay, I need to heal, man. This is scary. Sucks that that guy's invulnerable. That's so powerful. Like, that is kind of insane how strong that is. I am ready. I feel like going in there is a bit risky. Literally can't do anything, eh? I mean, I could shield charge, funny enough. Your Highness. Yeah, so there's our three. Let's send Tristan. Oh, are you freaking hitting me? Serve. Oh, he's gonna take a beating now, too. Okay, so this is where we got a ice shield, I think. Getting close. You're not doing anything. Move you up here. Ready to fight. Okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Six. Okay, that actually was Awaiting your totally fine. Strip a bunch of this. Um, I could probably kill him if I send us into the fire, Ready which I am going to do. Okay. I know, bro. Trust me, it'll all be worth it. But he's gonna die. Before you came. What are we waiting for? I'm gonna go pressure here. I am here to serve. And then I guess I'm gonna pressure here, because that's gonna get the shock. We should reduce their damage output by being next to them. Throw this on for good measure. Oh God! Is on the way. What if he just died there? This is not a recruitment mission, so I'm not too worried about his health. And then can we catch here? Yeah, we can. We got the big one too. Okay. So, uh... Let's count the bodies, did we lose vitality on that? I don't know if Hector lost any more than he was already at. I've dreamt of the old gods. That's probably everything. Although, it does feel like a couple of those fights unnecessary risk but i can't not go for it you know like what if there was a cool relic or something i gotta know anyways let's close this portal and hope that that's everything We've got a long mission on our hands here you can 
return to the Deepwood from here. You are free to go. Sick. You have learned all that I could teach you. Thank you, Fairy Knight. My dude. Okay, we got a lot of stuff out of this too. Oh, what's this? Huh. This is new. I see you found your way out with a hell of a guide, an exile silly lord in person. Some people are so damn lucky. <laughs> now I understand why you passed through the gate alone. Yes. When I first came to the deep world, you guys remember Gawain? A couple missions. You. I had to learn to travel that terrible forest alone. It took me days. I nearly lost my mind. Uh, you want to join us? I've had time to think. Now huh. Oh, shit. Okay. I want to join your round table. Cool. Wait. Wait. Even my oh, patience has goodness. its limits. This man is a murderer. The slayer of the she. He would bring shame to the round table. Shame. I mean, look at us. That's the least of our worries. Uh, but, yeah. This isn't your decision. You're not one of us. I am here to help you kill King Arthur. Damn. I am ready to join your round table. Oh, damn! But only if you send away this demented murderer. <laughs> that is Ugh. my sole condition. Frick. Um, okay, so here's the thing. He's a mage. I do like his kit, but it's not nearly as powerful as Ector or Merlin, for sure. And... I don't see him becoming better than those guys. Could be wrong. But the other guy, Gawain, it might be nice to have an extra, what is he, a defender it looks like? With the shield? So, yeah. I'm going to choose Gawain, actually. I respect your decision. If we meet again, I may still help you to finish your quest. Sick. We are not enemies, but you have lost an ally. May the gods be with you. All right, you too, fairy knight. I, it's kind of cool how it doesn't say like, hey, this is a recruitment mission, you know? And we still get to recruit. Nice, level 14. Oh, that is gross. Okay, what's this? Vanguard Sage, immunity to chill, six HP, 21% mental debuff resist. Ah, oh, it's not that good. Seven damage against slowed units, damage for force, damage against unharmed. Uh, five HP at the start of each encounter. Ooh, two breakable, two unbreakable armor. Uh, once per turn, gain three movement AP for one turn after getting a hit. Light armor, extra movement AP, and perception. Uh, minus cost for throwing dagger, extra weapon damage, back stab attacks deal a guaranteed maximum. Guess that's good depending on the weapon. Minus one cooldown for slowing Hex. Five damage for two turns for each kill. Four HP when resting. Meh. Some scrolls, potions. Damage against Seelie. 16 to 29. Pretty big range. Damage against Frozen. Heavy armor. Not bad. Three armor on potions. And extra vitality on potions. Not bad. Okay. The forest with the wandering trails. Only the most daring or foolish knight dares to enter the deep woods of the Shi. So I wasn't surprised when Black Knight asked my permission for a raid into this green hell. It sounds a hopeless, but if not suicidal undertaking. But the temptation of the legendary, legendary treasures hiding in the enchanted woodland is too strong. Especially if I think about the upcoming battles against the Beast of Avalon. Oh yeah. You can go. Good boy. Good boy. Dagonet leveled up from training. Okay, good. Sir Kay healed from an injury. Good. Challenge reward. Damage against Seely and Unseely. I really struggle with who to give these to. Like, burning damage, I think we'll give to Merlin, right? He just dishes out so much burning damage. I'm gonna do that now. But these other ones are very specific to the. Uh, types of enemies. I don't think I'm, I'm going to use this one at all. Essence of Salubrity. Unless I just know it's a final mission or something and I'll just spam it. But yeah, okay. Is there anything new out here? Oh yeah. So Gawain is in level 12. God damn. Defender. So that's one defender, two defenders. 
He'll be our third defender. Uh, Dagonet. What does he add? What is he adding? He's only level 10 for one. Hex intensity. I don't... I don't... I, I, yeah, I might have to ditch him. Level 12 here. 12. 12. Okay. Enemies prioritize attacking any other unit if the hero is farther than six tiles away. I feel like if we're farther than six tiles, I don't have to worry about it anyways. Could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. Extra movement AP each turn, and the perception could be cool. Reduce damage by a further 10%. Let's take Scout. We need one more point still. Okay, Mordred got his third. So, let's take a look now. Uh, recuperate. Oh, I think this is what we wanted, right? So, recuperate, and then there was another thing on here. It lasts an extra turn, yeah. It only costs 2 AP. That's so good. 28 temporary HP. And we can make it last for extra turns. So, like, when he... Yeah, he's just the ultimate super tank. Black Knight. AP cost on power attack is good. And we'll take the vulnerability there, too. Weakness, minus 10% magic dealt. Not great. What do we want to do here? Fire Blast does more damage in its center. Weapon damage. Hex intensity and spellcraft. I kind of want to go here just for like the passives for spellcraft and perception like we just took. But oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe we take magical armor here. That's pretty nice for the mages. And then Dagonet. Looks like I'm going to be dismissing you. Just because he's too overlapped, right, with Ector. He's basically the same. Desecrated ground, I didn't like that much. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... Plus he's level 10. Anyway. Marauders no more. New main mission is 13. Side mission, Battle of the Chasm. We've got the Red Knight mission. Um, technically, we could do... This might be a huge buff if we get the uh, the Red Knight. He's from here, right? Dagonet. There's still one more here. Morgana Le Fay. So we would need uh, four more to unlock her. Four more Old Faith decisions. Hmm. Let's clear these guys out. Alright, so... Marauders no more. Oh, here we go. Guinevere's loyalty decreases. We get gold and resources. Yeah, we already know the answer. The forests around Camelot were once teeming with brigands and marauder knights. Thanks to me and the round table, their numbers were thinned and the survivors, feeling the change of the wind, seek forgiveness for their past sins. Uh, they even offered their servitude to Camelot, allowing such filth into my castle may cause discontent among my more righteous knights, but I could use them to establish my rule, not to mention the stolen goods they're offering for my goodwill. Now, I do just want to check. So, um... The further we go into Tyrant... So this actually is... Huh, interesting. This actually is maxed out at Tyrant. I need one more here. This is actually pretty good. 
And then this, I feel like by the time we get there is probably not even that worth it, but I could be wrong. Uh, I like this though, Relic Smasher. And we can get that right now. Pardon the brigands, absolutely. Relic Smasher, time to be smashing. So I've got Return of the King, 13, 14 there. Battle of the Chasm. A message from the bridge oh, it's frickin' Tewelin again. Just doesn't die. If we want to enter the home. XP. After more gauze is unforeseen departure. I'll probably go return to the king here, I think. And then maybe wait for the red knight. We probably are gonna end up ditching Guinevere as well as Dagonet. Um in fact, let me do that right now. Dagonet, it's been fun. Gawain, let's go. Uh, so defender-wise, yeah, I mean, not bad. So he's got a bunch of junk. Be cool if these guys came in with decent weapons. Learning active skills costs three points. Huh. Interesting. He's how does he have negative points available? That's weird. He gets more XP. But unlocking new squares or circles costs three. The side ones are still one. Very interesting. Very interesting. He would have a freezing attack. He's got a taunt. He's got a flurry. He's got death strike. Monster hunter. 10% damage against Seelie Unseelie. 10% damage against Lost. Oh, this is cool. Okay. 20% more overall. 10% more overall. Overwatch. Vitality and sigils. Yeah, I mean, the taunt is interesting. Flurry is medium, loses less AP from heavy armor. Yeah, anyways, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, is there anything I can sacrifice here? Yeah, that one's too good. I'm not getting rid of that. How do we like the not dodging attacks? It's, um... Say. Tough to say. Uh, where are you? We were using this. I'm gonna get rid of it. So this is going to give 260. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 20%. Okay, I'm sacrificing it. Uh, this one I'm not really using, so I'm going to sacrifice as well. It's a lot. That makes me wonder if I should be using it. Movement costs one third less XP. So the way I understand that is every three tiles they get one free kind of thing, which is sometimes gonna be good, but they are getting movement AP from other stuff and I'm using the jump to reposition a lot anyway. So it's gone. I've made the decision. And then the Ashen Rune of Draining, I do think I probably need to ditch. It's 22. But like, look, it's at the low end of the damage. Yes, it has the built-in culling. Um, but it's just falling way behind. I'm gonna sacrifice it. This is pretty good. Um... Put 
focus on him. Just nice to have the comparison. Okay. So... We're not taking advantage of the, of the damage against stun units very often. So I'm not going to worry about that. So it's basically a 25 to 27 with 15% armor pierce. The other one's 25 to 29 with 15% armor pierce. 50% of damage suffered. And it's on our uh, defenders, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's our... our sorry, no. Uh, it's on our champions that use this. So they're not typically tanking. The first attack every turn deals maximum, which is 29, which is whatever. And then he gets a plus 5 for power attack. I actually don't think it's worth buying for 1350. Uh, this one we already have a copy of. And then this medium armor, uh, it's all based on rest. So I, I actually think we're fine for relics. We don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, let's get you in here. I don't need to unlock more slots. This would be nice, but I really don't want to go into here and then into here. I have all the gold, because remember I sold a bunch of stuff off screen. I guess, I mean, it is a thousand of thousand, but he's he's got a lot of vitality missing. Wonder if I, I, I do wonder if I should heal that first. I think I will. We'll do the vitality first. Just in case I need him, then he can still come out. He'll deal slightly less damage. It's not the end of the world, you know? Um, who am I going to take on this mission? We're going to go to Return of the After King. It's a 13. Departure, a new bloodthirsty cult rose among the Picts. These madmen now ravage the countryside, kidnapping people to sacrifice them during their grim rituals. And all our efforts to track them down failed. Now a renegade moon woman revealed the location of their hideout. Let's strike them down before they disappear again. Yes, let's. Uh, I'm going to bring uh, Tristan, actually. Yeah, I think this is good. So we got, we got a pretty good balance. So he's going to get slightly less XP. He's going to get normal. And these guys are going to get slightly more. Um... And then Dindrain can keep training. Uh, Balan can keep training. Let's put her in there. Uh, oh yeah, Budachia. What does she offer me? What does she offer me that Balan doesn't? Like, look at he, he's super loyal. She's only at two. She's mission conscious. She gets no loyalty from court titles. She's agile. Uh, but honestly, that's it, man. Like, I don't I don't see a reason that I would want to keep her. I'm going to move her down to the bottom of this pile, actually. Um, so these guys are basically the next on the chopping block. Everybody else is pretty well justified. Percival, medium, only because... Um, uh, we have other defenders. And is his loyalty still bad? Yeah, minus three. What's Gawain's? Zero. But Gawain's downside is his uh, cost to progress is really freaking bad. So, anyway. Dindrain. Go. Okay. Merchant, what do you have? Nothing. Nothing's restocked. So I don't love sitting on all of this. Let's take a quick look and see what we could unlock here. So right now we're gaining more XP. I think that's fine. I don't think there's a reason to change that. Um, for 4,000 gold, I could have both, which seems fine. I could boost loyalty by doing this as well. But 4,000 gold gives me one to everyone, right? Because then I have both these laws. Oh, I've got this for free right now. Why is that? Is that from here? Yep. 
I guess so. Probably only once, eh? I have to imagine that like, you can't just spam that. All right, so I could drop 4,000 gold, get loyalty for everyone. That's an option. Uh, cathedral. Extra slots for injuries, potions. Um, vitality for 4,000 and 1,000. Not bad. Extra injury tokens is not bad. Injury treatment times reduced by one mission to a minimum of one. But I need three Christianity, so that won't happen. And using potions costs... No AP during encounters. You know what? I am going to grab that. Because we have the cash. Merchant. Everybody gets additional armor, but I'm short on building supplies. Uh, offer refreshes more frequently. I could do that. Relics could appear. Oh, this might be a good opportunity, because I have cash. I've got cash, so maybe I do this. Next restock, we could see relics. Fine. Training ground. Extra skill points to marksman and vanguard. 10% permanent HP to everyone. Training dummy. These are both done. Hmm. Okay, this is expensive, and I know I just spent money at the merchant to maybe buy a relic soon. But we still have three missions to go, and then I'll have a bunch of stuff that I could sell also. So I will actually take the HP buffs for everyone. That's nice. The crypt is whatever. We could bring Isolde back, people were saying, but I mean, what am I going to do with her? Nothing. That's what. Uh, extra vitality could be good. Heroes return from missions heal 5% vitality. That's actually solid, too. That's probably better than the injuries also healing vitality. Cost, I don't really care. And then Enchanted Tower. Skill points refreshes more frequently. Scroll effects last longer. No AP. Probably won't ever use scrolls. And more dust. All right. So I think, I think we're set. I'll do my uh, build out and stuff and get ready for the next one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Wait. Uh, yeah, we don't have a an event. We did it. Okay, cool. We'll see you in the next one. That was a long one. Bye for now.